Meanwhile, a brewing financial crisis in Fairfax County. A major budget shortfall could mean some painful cuts within the school system. And today, the superintendent and school board met to talk about the system's financial future. Richard Reeve live in Falls Church, where the important meeting took place today. Rich, tell us about it. Yeah, Allison, this is a painful budget process. As you know, Fairfax County is the largest school district in our area. They add about 3,000 students a year. That's $25 million a year. And now they are talking about some drastic cuts. It's a hard lesson in economics for Fairfax County Schools. The terrible choices, but they're also hard choices. Superintendent Karen Garza and the school board are trying to figure out how to plug a $140 million budget hole. Any cuts or any reductions that we make will be uh, painful and they will affect potentially programs and services. Money saving proposals include 1,722 staff cuts, an increase in class sizes, eliminating elementary foreign language programs, and a $100 per sport user fee. Spot. I don't know what I can tell you. Hugo Valabena's son, Hueza, took a language immersion program for one year. He says it was essential. Study is very important. It's the future for the kids. All this complicated by $110 million in mandated spending for student costs, loss of state revenues, and employee insurance and retirement. This is not drama. This is real. Possibly some wiggle room, class size, not popular with parents. A great teacher would prefer to teach fewer students than more, but a great teacher can compensate if necessary, and that's part of what makes them a great teacher. All parties agree, without new revenues, something will have to go. So you really have to be smart about what are you going to cut, what are you going to keep, how much are you spending per available child. Now, just today, they were talking about cutting music and sports programs, trying to reschedule bus routes, for example. Uh, another thing they're hoping possibly to get more money at the Board of Supervisors. A lot of people, though, think that is unlikely. Now, they do have some time until next May, but tonight, a lot of people are shaking their heads. Live from Falls Church, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.